Okay, so we're going to show you today how to control a functional dome on the report to CCTV multimeter. All that I've done is I've turned the unit on by pressing and holding the power button and pressing the mode button here until you get to this screen. At the minute you can see that this is set up to control PTZ number 5 with a protocol of WV which will be for Panasonic domes and a baud rate of 19,200K. You can see here we've got wide, far, near, left, up, down, right, tele and wide and they correspond to the up, down, left, right, tele, wide, far and near buttons on here. And as you press these buttons, the actual colours of the indicator up there changes colour every time you press the corresponding button. Now, the easiest way to find out what address and protocol and board rate that your Panasonic camera is using is to turn it off. When you first turn it back on, in, as part of its boot up process it will show you what address it actually has and what board rate it actually uses. It will obviously be WV. Once we have this information what we can do is if we press and hold the set button we can see up here that most of the screen has vanished and we can see the PTZ address 005 is actually all black and you can see there me pressing the up and down arrows on here changes the PTZ address to what we need it to be. When you've changed that to what you need it to be press the right arrow and we can see here we can change to lots of different types of protocols of camera but we want WV for Panasonic and then we can change the board rate here as we've found out by rebooting the camera and if you can't see what the camera is actually displaying go back to your DVR rewind it and watch what it shows you on your display and you can copy the information from there once we're on all the correct settings simply press set and if you've saved it correctly you'll see that at the minute where I changed that to number 6 is still there we're still on WV, we haven't changed it to something else by accident and instead of it being on 19.2 like it was before, it's on 9.6k for your data speed. The only other thing that we need to do now is to connect the camera onto the back of the actual report meter. Now I've left the two wires in here because if you're using the two wire format for your Panasonic these are the two terminals here that you'll have to use obviously if you try it one way and it doesn't work and somebody's reversed the polarity of your twisted pair then simply swap them over and then it will work plug your camera from here that will display the camera image on the actual monitor. You can put the camera out here so it still goes back to its DVR and its original monitor and then these two will connect and control the camera via its two wire format. You could do it with four wire obviously you'd have to utilize these other two terminals here as well. Once you have all that connected back up we can come back to the screen as we were before and simply, I haven't got a camera to actually show you but if you'd have the camera image of the dome camera that would be in place of the blue screen that I have now and as we press up and down and left and right the camera will follow you around to where you want it to actually go. This is ideal especially if you go bottom of a lamp post so you can actually prove it's working at location so you can see if there's actually a problem somewhere between the DVR, the joystick and the actual camera itself. Once you've finished, obviously you can change 
any of the settings back to how they used to be or we can simply just turn the unit off once we've finished. I hope that was used to you, thanks.